Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. All right, so I had been working on <clears throat> some layouts with this collection um, this week for a class I'm supposed to teach this summer at my local scrapbook store. And so um, I'm loving this collection so much. I finished the layouts for those for that class and I had all these like leftovers um, and I thought I'm gonna go ahead and use them for my sketch today which is this one from Carrie who is Miss Carrie's creations on all socials and I'll have all her stuff linked below she's on Facebook Instagram YouTube so that's where you can find her and she made this sketch for our little Facebook group at Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Check that out. It's so much fun. And I think I thought this would be perfect because I had um, these pictures of my little one and she's wearing a shirt that says Little Miss Sassy and she's got her tongue out and she's like giggling at her mummy. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then um, so I did a little bit of journaling and I had I, the sketch caught my eye for this particular collection because I knew I had some like strips uh, left over from the layouts I had made for the class so I thought that would be a fun place to start. I also have some I think these ones are not full but I have two full sheets left and then I also grabbed a sheet of um, textured white cardstock for my background and um, some scrap white for mounting my photos um, I have this sticker sheet because I had the collection pack, so I have the sticker sheet too. And it has lots of great stuff on it. And I got these from Doodlebug. How cute are those? So sweet. I love those. And then I also have these little tickets that are so cute from Miss Mallory over on Ginger's Corner. When we do swaps, she sent me these ones. These are so cute. And then I have this little um, card, date card from Alana from this also on Ginger's Corner. So these two items are from Swaps and I thought they might be cute with this layout. This one um, I kept in because these photos were actually taken on June 1st of 2021. So I was like, yep, I can keep that in there. I might be able to use it this time. So that would be fun. And let's see what else. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, mount my photos onto a long tag. I'm thinking I'll cut a sheet of um, patterned paper maybe or if I have a strip already I don't think I have one that's more than four inches though so I'm gonna have to cut one and that's fine and I'll do it at about 11 and then I'm gonna mount my photos and put them onto that um, strip and then cut it into a tag and then I'm going to um, I already have some strips to get started with so I'll start with the ones that I already have and I will start layering them up like that across my page what a great way to use some scraps hey eh? and then I'm gonna get a title I don't know if I'm gonna make a title with some thickers or something or if I'm gonna use one of the ones that are already on here there's lots on the cut apart cards too um, so I could maybe look for one on there. There's also some on the sticker sheet. And then, of course, I could always bring in some thickers. So that's what I'm starting with. And I think I'm going to pause the camera and um, start laying some stuff down. And then I'll pop back in and we'll embellish together. All right. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right. So I just wanted to pop back in and share a little bit of something and that is that I used some of my scraps that were not quite long enough to stretch um, the distance that I wanted them, but I cut them in half and then spread them out so that I can put my tag over top and nobody will even know that that strip didn't go all the way down. So that's something to keep in mind when you're using up your scraps. You don't have to have the full length of the scrap to make it work for you. Okay, so I am going to lay this giant tag with my photos down onto my page and I just want to make sure that it goes straight because it's quite long and there we go 
So I popped up that center photo with her sticking her tongue out because I thought that was super cute. I tied some twine in there. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to keep it that long. That's just how long it was cut. And then I'm going to use this um, card that Alana made. And I took the June off because I decided I wanted this to be my title piece. And so I am going to tuck it here somehow. And I just took this sticker off of here that said be awesome. And I cut around the A and then I cut around the E so that it would um, be two words. Like it was two words so that it would be two separated words because I didn't want it to be that long. I wanted to stack it. So this was here before and I took it off and I'm not sure if I'm going to still use it or not. We'll see. But um, it's good to make things work for you, right? Especially if it's not quite what you wanted for the design. So there, there's my title piece. Now, I have already typed up my journaling, so I'm going to get that down on there. And... I haven't really made any decisions about embellishments or embellishment clusters, but I am thinking I want a doily and some florals on here, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to make that work yet. So I'll prob probably, whoa, excuse me, words are hard, um, I'll probably pause again and just um, go and find a doily and, you know, do a few other things. But the reason I popped back in at that point was that I just wanted to show you that the the strips don't have to be the full length. You can use smaller scraps to make that particular kind of um, pattern work. And that's especially important if you're running low on um, coordinating papers because you might want certain patterns, right? So I didn't want like, I didn't want these two really busy patterns sitting next to each other and I didn't want these two dots sitting next to each other and I didn't want these gingham pieces sitting next to each other. So Separating them out meant that I had to um, get some pieces uh, different. And so that that also, this one, I cut, uh, I had a smaller one. Is it still here? No. I think it was, I can't remember what was on the other side of it. Anyway, the bees were facing the wrong way and the hives were facing the wrong way. So that's why I used this. Uh, a different piece so that it would be facing the correct way. Okay, so then I got my journaling typed up and printed out on this white scrap of cardstock, and I'm just gonna ink up the edges. I've been inking everything in black soot distress ink for now, and I think I want my journaling down here, and that will work for me. And then in the sketch, oh my gosh, I'm making a big mess. <laughs> In the sketch, there were also some smaller strips right along that spot. So I was thinking I could use some of these because the Echo Park branding strips aren't the full 12 inch length. They're just like a piece of the branding strip. So I was going to look through here and see if there was something I thought would work. I like this yellow heart and this black and white. So we have similar patterns but in different colors and I'll ink those up too and get those on there. And then um, I also wanted to mention that Chrissy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches goes on all month long. So it's a sketch a day for 30 days and all of the sketches for the whole month long are posted already so that you can work with them you know, obviously not everybody scrapbooks every single day. And so she wants to make sure that people have the sketches when they have the time. So that's awesome. And then, so yeah, I suggest if you like working with sketches to go check that out because it's a lot of, uh, a lot of content in there and lots of fun stuff. It's fun to see other people's takes on each sketch too. Let's see, I want it longer. more more do any of you watch Chanel when she's like more she sings all the time it's so cute her voice I don't know reminds me of 
a girl I was friends with in middle school and high school. So I like listening to her. Reminds me of that girl. Um, she was a good friend of mine. We lost her very young. Okay, so there's that. And does that look weird? I don't know. I feel like maybe if it's going to cover one, it needs to cover both pieces of paper. All right, well, I'll work that out off camera, and I'm going to go and find which embellishments I want to use. I think I want a doily up in this corner and then some floral pieces. I do have some florals on my sticker sheet, so maybe we can make that work. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We got, um, I found the doily and it's, this is a tiny one. I got it at a garage sale in like a pack of a variety size and I really bought it because I wanted the little ones, <laughs> but there's some that are like massive too. So anyway, ah, uh, whatever. I got this on here and then I took the title that had been down here, the date, the month, and I put it up here and I got one of the floral stickers on as well and then down here um, I added the floral sticker here and then I took a teeny tiny little floral sticker and added it here I put a little bit of wet glue under my twine so that it would stay in a little loop like this and it's still like loose a little bit it's not like all the way tacked down and then um, and then I went to my bingo board because I was like what else could I put on here to make sure I get a bingo so I'm gonna go with let's see what we got we got multi-photo, free space, pre-made title, and foam I got under my center photo there. So then I was like, well, I don't have wood veneer, so I put some little wood veneer hearts onto my layout. So that gives me a bingo across this way. So that's how I used my bingo board today. Been having fun with that, trying it in different ways. And then here's the sketch to refer to. Um, mine's a little bit different. It doesn't have this big white gap in the center here. But that's okay I really like the way it turned out and it doesn't have to be exactly like the sketch right the sketch just just a jumping off point now I do have these really cute little te uh, tickets from Miss Mallory but I think I'm going to save them for another layout because they um, aren't just there's no spot for them and I want to keep them intact for now so I'm gonna just set them aside with the rest of what's left over from this um, collection kit. I also saved these from the branding strips so it's like opposite the UPC code and it just says be happy and I thought about putting one here but then I felt like that put it too tall so I'm just gonna skip that as well and then I still have my sticker sheet but I think I'm just gonna stick with the three floral stickers that I put on for now and then I was like well do we have like a little word something and I have this be loved right here and but I don't know where I want to put it although now that I'm looking I might want it up here there we go I got that on there too okay so I'm gonna put that with the rest of the collection now I do have left these little doodle bugs um, Doodle bug bees, bumblebees. They're so cute. Okay, so let's see. Where do I want them? Tweezers out. So I think I want one little bee in each cluster. So I'm going to stick one here by this flower. And I think I'm going to want this little guy who's going to cut it, got his eyes closed, just like Miss Emmy right here. I'm going to put him right here. And then these ones kind of already have some bees happening over here. But then there's also these guys. So would another bee be too much? Huh. Uh, that's a lot of bees in one sentence. But I think I'll take this little guy. Do I want that little guy? Or do I want maybe one facing the other way? And I'll put him kind of up here. So he's still part of that cluster, but he's not competing with ones that are already here. And then I was thinking these little white florals are super cute too. So I might put like one with one with each heart. Little epoxy flowers. Doodlebug makes the cutest 
embellishments, don't you think? I mean, you don't want, or I don't want cutesy on every single page, but I certainly do love them sometimes on various things. Okay. And I think that's it for me for today. Now there's some bling here. I'm wondering if I should add something else. It's kind of got those, they're like mirrored pearls almost, but I don't have any of those. Those came with the embellishment that Alana made. So I think I'm going to use these like silvery enamel dots from Waffle Flower. And does it say, oh, Stardust enamel dots. Okay. So... I think I'm just going to use the small ones, actually. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few around each um, embellishment cluster so that it just kind of contains that stuff and helps your draw your eye around so that you're looking at all the things that are on here because there's a lot of fun little things hiding in here that I want everybody to see. And then over here, we'll make this bumblebee here would be cute. And then do I need more or should I just leave it with those? I think I'm just going to leave it like that. All right. So that is it. If you would like to see a close-up shot of my layout or some detail shots, please stay till the end and I will add a couple of those to the end of the video. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I really do love hearing from you guys and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I hope everyone is having a great day. Bye for now.